What do I look? You look at the lens. No boogers? Hell, you smell like buffalo wings. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Babe. What? <laughs> <laughs> what <are we? laughs> guys have been waiting for it. Is the sound on? Yes. Okay. Now I have to check and that was probably really good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that you guys have been waiting for. It's our Q&A. You guys left us a bunch of questions all over social media and on YouTube and we're here to answer them for you. So <laughs> get excited. Okay. Get excited. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> a lot of you ask, how did we meet? We met in beauty school at uh, Karsten Aveda Institute in New York City. A long time ago. A long time ago. I was 19. Thanks. And and I was a little older. <laughs> and now I'm 27. So we met a bunch of years ago. Yeah. And it's so funny because um, when I saw him, it like stood out to me because one of the teachers basically had like a remark to say about him. He was in the class before mine, so he graduated first. And as soon as he walked into the, into the room, the teacher was like, that's Vincent. You'll see a lot of him. He's always walking around. <laughs> and he basically went in there to scope out the new girls from the new class. And then I actually did see him like all the time walking around. I have extreme ADD, so <laughs> I don't really like sitting still. This is actually very hard for me right now. Cool. Was he attracted to you straight away from the beginning or did he fall in love with your personality? Maybe um, I'm ugly. <laughs> let's not get crazy. <laughs> Um, Wait, I have a great personality. As soon as I met Stephanie, um, I noticed her right away. She looked like Halle Berry. She did you have like little relaxed pixie? Um, no, I used to color color my hair. I used to bleach it a lot to the point it was basically straight, and I wore it in pixie, so I didn't care that it was straight. Yeah, so I saw her right away. Um, growing in a predominantly white uh, school. I never really seen someone so gorgeous and exotic. How did your son first respond to Vincenzo? Well, my son was only three when they met, so he really didn't, you know, have like an opinion on how he felt about people in general. He was just three, uh, but he was pretty serious. That was kind of his way, like always since baby. Like when he first meets you, he's kind of really like closed up and like standoffish. Um, he planted out that when they met that we were gonna go to like a carnival. So they had a great time and a lot of time to bond together. Yeah, he still made Vincent work for it. And we waited a few months to just make sure that if it was the right thing, if we were gonna go further, I didn't wanna put Evan around something that I was just trying to hang out with his mom. Yeah, and Evan had never met anyone before you know, other than his dad. So I wanted to really make sure that I was making the right decision. Was it an easy adjustment as a mixed race couple? And how do you communicate different things that the other may not experience? I'm extremely Italian. We have very strong Italian traditions, slightly similar to the way that Stephanie was raised in a Latina household. Um, so we both have the same religion. We both believe in God and Jesus. But as far as being interracial and multicultural, I had not known any of that. In my family, I'm um, Puerto Rican, Italian, and Black. So for me, it's completely normal to mix. Like I have a cousin who's Italian, Puerto Rican, and Chinese. And so for me, it's like really normal for cultures and different people to just mix. Um, so it was like different coming into a relationship with someone pure breed. So mixing is not something that they really do. Because I know that like uh, the media, like news and all this stuff, like movies, um, it's pretty much one person's like opinion on a culture. And so I feel like the black culture kind of gets portrayed in a way through the white man's eyes. So um, I knew that he had um, a, a vision on what the culture was and he had to like see it. He had to like 
be in it to completely understand that it is not what you see in movies and it is not what the news shows you it's completely different and we are completely different so um getting past that and me just understanding that he may not know anything at all i had to like approach it in that sense you know sometimes i do get frustrated obviously and i get really emotional and sensitive and he has to like step back and understand like i'm emotional for my people my culture like i feel really like heavy-hearted a lot so um he's been pretty open into like understanding we love each other but that doesn't mean that this person or my family will love us as a whole but we can't rely on that. We have to keep doing what we're doing. And if they want to love us, that's great over time. And if not, we have to move forward for us. Because if not, it'll just eat us alive. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I really don't care. I'm going to spit out some dark-skinned Italian babies. And that's that. The next question is, what can you both say that kept you so involved with each other this far? <laughs> he is like really opposite for me. I'm so like calm and like stuff like that. Like my sense of humor is like I'm super sarcastic and that's just how I find humor in things where he's like funny. He's like a kid and he like plays around with my son and I, sometimes I feel like I have two children and it gets like really frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's super romantic too. He's like the best at planning dates. It's always like new and fresh. I'm very passionate and romantic but I'm also very sensitive so if I f I see that Latina look in her eyes you know that she wants to stab me in my back or you know she's just not happy it it honestly affects me where I don't think it would affect too many other people so I'm like baby okay are you right um like let's go to dinner because I think she's pretty gorgeous so I kind of like showing her off you <laughs> when did you know I feel like I didn't get good looking until I was like 18, 19. Uh, I had braces for like 50 years. I had really ugly glasses. I was about 150 pound, 115 pounds graduating high school. That's goal weight though. <sighs> yeah, I was, I was skinny. That's my, my weight goals. <laughs> um, so I, I feel like you know, girls weren't that attracted to me. I met Stephanie in beauty school, but I still wasn't ready for her. We just, continue to become friends and just say hi on Facebook and bother each other. Um, and then I kept asking her like, hey, are you free? Let's go to dinner. Hey, are you free? Let's go to this and go to that. And she finally cracked. I feel like she was going to either crack or she was going to call the cops. <laughs> so, you know, six. she's oh my, here now. How many years? Oh my God. A bunch of years. A bunch um, of years of, of emails and Facebook messages and just rejection. <laughs> Persistence. <laughs> he was so persistent. <laughs> so she gets off the train and I get out of the car. I wanted to be a gentleman for once. And she turns the car corner and I'm not trying to sound like a little girl right now, but my heart dropped and I knew that she was different than any other girl I was with. So I got in the car and my heart was racing. I was like, I'm so nervous like everything I wanted to do just fell apart I was like what am I gonna do with this girl so I took her to go to Robert Moses Beach in Long Island because it was about uh, 10 minutes away I took her to the beach I was talking fast I oh couldn't catch God. my breath I was like come on let's go to the beach uh, let's go see this neighborhood let's and he was go. like right there's the water and this set and that's that and that's that and I'm just like whoa like and she's very quiet so she's a very nervous. quiet girl so she was just like chilling and relaxed and like my heart's racing I was like blah blah um so then we go get some sushi. I was like, you like sushi? She's like, no, not really. I'm not a cheap date. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's going to cost me thousands now. <laughs> Clearly. <sighs> so we get some sushi. I'm still a little nervous, but we had a really nice conversation. And uh, she looked absolutely incredible. I knew that she had a son. So we just took it slow. I'm like, slow and slow. But I knew that she was way different than any other girl I was with. Like he said, uh, he asked me so many times throughout the years. It was like birthdays <laughs> it was like birthdays and just random reasons and just like, do you want to go out do you want to go out for dinner do you want to catch up blah 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 and I'm always like oh no I have to go somewhere with my friend oh no I'm busy oh no I'm no working <laughs> um I just kind of turned them down all the time only because imagine I, she turned me down <laughs> I didn't I didn't feel that 
he was mature enough or um you know just just wasn't what I wanted at that time I didn't I didn't go out to dinner with him and then finally um, I was out of a relationship now I'm a mom he asked me for dinner to go out to dinner and I figured why not right let someone take you out to dinner it's okay so I get to Long Island and the moment I saw him I literally lost all air and on the outside, I try to act so cool, but inside, I just like couldn't breathe. He was like really romantic. He gave me like kisses on my forehead and didn't try anything at all. Like was like super respectful and gentleman. I just kind of wanted to see him again. So then we just kept on dating. I wanted to try something new. And to be honest, it was that if I hang out with you, I do something with you, mentally, I'm not gonna want to date you. So if I don't do anything with you, you respect yourself. That means I try harder and I respect you. So we waited. But he wasn't going to get it anyway. I already knew. I was going to try my best. But you weren't going to get very a far. Oh. I already knew that I was not putting out. Yeah, she had like barbed wire around her legs. <laughs> I knew I wasn't putting out. Like, so it didn't matter. Um, all that would have altered was would have been that I wouldn't and or he wouldn't be sitting here right now. That's all that I would have changed because I would have realized that he was still Vincent from beauty school and he'd never evolved in all these years, so. Okay, this is for you. Do you work on 4C hair? Of course, <laughs> I work on all hair types. I love all types of hair. Do you get jealous because he works with so many women? Obviously, I know he's a hairstylist. He's going to work with women and on women. Um, I get annoyed when girls cross the line, which doesn't happen too often, but has definitely happened. And I'm literally like crazy, I will kill you. Just saying. I mean, you can research, he's taken. I mean. <laughs> okay, this is for me. Did you think he was gay when you first met him since he's a hairdresser? Girl, no. <laughs> Girl, yes. Um, when I first met Vincent, I was 100% sure that he was gay. When did you realize um, he wasn't? <laughs> up to that point, I had never met a straight hairstylist that was a man. So um, I instantly, you know, which is not good to assume, but I assumed that he was gay until he made eye contact with me. I was like, oh, hell no. I he was is, like, hey girl, <laughs> he shampoo me. He is not gay because I can tell in his the way he was trying to connect with me that he was straight. I was trying to connect. Shut up. <laughs> when and how did you know he was the one? I'm not gonna get into detail, but I was sick and I saw the eyes of a man who loved me um, and just the way that he took care of me. I was like completely unable to do for myself and this guy who did not have to do what he was doing was taking the most careful care of me um i did not leave my side and i knew that he loved me i did are you crying no. <laughs> i love you you're annoying <laughs> How did you propose to leave? I was nervous that day. It was kind of just like a regular day. I wasn't like, hey, this is set Wednesday. I'm going to propose to her. I had the ring for a few months and I just kept thinking of a perfect time, a perfect place. And is this the person you want to be with? Why are you wasting her time? Why are, why are we wasting each other's time? It's three and a half years. So I proposed to her and I was so nervous. She was starving to death. So you never want to mess with a hangry, hangry Latina. I was so cranky. She's like, where are we going? I was like, going to the train. We got to pick up my aunt. Let's go. And uh, I get out of the car and I go on my knee and she's like, are you serious? I was like, well, I don't know what's happening. Is she saying yes? Is she saying no? She's like, don't be joking with me right now. I'm like, and then she started crying. I started crying. I started kissing. So the way that he did it, because a guy leaves out important details and the girl's not. So um, the whole day I was kind of irritated. Um, I don't know exactly why, but then I mean, I, does a girl ever know why she's irritated? <laughs> she's just irritated. But then, um, then I started to get angry towards the end before the proposal because we were like gonna go out to eat and then like things kept happening and he's like, oh, I have to wait to see if my brother is gonna pick up my aunt and if not, then I have to do it. And I'm like, all right, but when are we gonna eat? 
girl gotta eat so then um he's like all right we're gonna go eat but first we have to pick up my aunt because my brother can't do it so i'm like fine so we're driving we get to the train station this is the same train station that we met three and a half years before again like we came to that same train station but it's not in my mind at all so he's like do you want to go get some water with me and i'm like okay and there was like no one there like the train wasn't in yet so i'm thinking like oh the train's not here yet so we're gonna go to right there and get water it was like a little stand or whatever we're walking i'm a little bit in front of him because like i said i was a little <laughs> agitated so i'm a little tiny bit in front of him and then i hear him talking behind me and he says uh three years ago at the same train station you took my breath away and right when he said this, I'm like turning around and he's getting on his knees and that's when my heart like dropped. <laughs> if I was breathless three years before that, I was definitely out of air. I couldn't think, I couldn't talk. My, I was like so cloudy, I didn't know what to say, so I just went. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yes, no. <laughs> he was so nervous, so then- Best um, friends, I don't know. <laughs> Give me a heads up. <laughs> He, but yeah, I couldn't talk, so I just kind of like went like this, and then um, we got engaged. <laughs> How do you keep your skin so flawless? Foundation. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's part of the truth. Anyway, he has amazing skin, and I asked him this question once, and he's like, I don't know, I just use water. I'm like, shut up, I hate you. <laughs> Shower once a week. Um. <laughs> I am super strict on my skin. I've gone to an esthetician to pop pimples whenever I couldn't take them out myself. Sexy. I wash my face a lot. Definitely recommend taking your makeup off. Sometimes I'm super tired or if I had like a lot of wine, I might leave it on. But I wash my face immediately as soon as I wake up. I've done the vampire facial which hurts like hell and that's basically they take the blood out of your vein and they put it in a machine and it separates the white blood cells and then they put it back into your face with micro needling and it hurts a lot like around the nose and the forehead it's the worst but what happened was my skin has been absolutely amazing for like a year I seen you yeah it was like a huge transformation please try the L'Oreal bright reveal line now, yes, I am an ambassador for L'Oreal. However, I do not show you guys anything that I do not believe in. L'Oreal's Bright Reveal is so amazing. It has glycolic and it's affordable. The price point is really good. And if you follow it and you give it the full month, you will definitely start to see results. So try that out. How long have you two been dating? Three and a half years. Mm -hmm. What are your nationalities and who is older? I'm Puerto Rican, Italian, and Black. He's Italian, and he's 27, and I'm 31. Age always mattered to me. I like my age or older. However, he's pretty mature, 27-year-old guy, because I know that means that he's like 18, 20 in dog years. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's pretty mature when it matters. Like when I need to have a serious conversation and like no games, no bullshit. He's like pretty mature and like other times he like plays with my son and entertains him and that works for me. Is this YouTube thing my full-time job? Yes. Um, I was makeup artist up to about two years. Mm -hmm. Two years. Um, and then I started just doing YouTube full on and yeah, I love it. Um, it's a little hard. I mean, cause you have to hustle with your own boss. There's no one telling you and giving you a schedule. So you have to get up and you have to hustle. You have to put yourself out there and do stuff. The only thing I need you guys to do is like literally click that bell because you need notifications. I get way too many of you guys messages that you miss me and where have I been? And I've been right here posting videos for you. So please hit so you can get notified when I post. Right here in my beauty room. Yeah, because I'm putting some great videos out for you guys and you guys need to watch them. So the last question, wedding planning details and you guys want to see my ring. Well, on the honeymoon, we're going to Italy. For 16 days. I'm very excited about that as well. Me too. I've never been. He's been there before, mm. but not with me. Um, so far, we have a videographer and basically um, we are going to have a video 
for you guys on YouTube and then obviously the, the full long length video for us personal. Um, and then my I have bridesmaids, I have four sisters. So I'm using my sisters and then one of his cousins, well his only cousin. My only girl <laughs> my cousin. My only girl cousin. First cousin. And um, I'm using my childhood best friend. She's been my friend since high school, like 10th grade. And long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago. I was like 16, 15, 16. And um, yeah, we're both 31. <laughs> so that's a long time. <laughs> um, and then I'm using another one of my friends. This is an adult friend. She's one of my closest friends. And you guys have seen her here before, Nashika. And, um, and Sheikah's a friend of both of ours. Yeah. She's she was his person. friend first and then I kind of stole her. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, she's amazing. My dress is being custom made. So, so far we got through sketches and then the pattern makers are going to start doing my pattern. So I'm really excited. We went through a few sketches until we got exactly what I want. And um, yeah, I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm gonna take you through the whole process. So when I go with her to the fashion uh, district, that's what it's called, right? Fashion yep. district in New York. Um, I'm gonna vlog everything for you guys. Uh, you won't see it until obviously after because I don't want him to get a sneak peek. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, so thank you guys so much for asking us these questions. I hope you found this fun and informative. And um, thank you for being part of my growth and sharing this with me because I am going to be a wife now and I'm so excited and scared and nervous, which I think is normal. Um, but yeah, so I have one more task for you guys. Besides hitting the notification bell, I would love for you guys to leave us comments below because I want to play Would You Rather with Vincent. Till my next video, stay beautiful.